Okay, so summary for Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. Uh, first off, we screwed up the setup a little bit for our game. Uh, camera Wife was doing Pandemic setup rather than Pandemic Cthulhu setup. So we had a few bazillion too many cultists on the board. Six. So, yeah. <laughs> Which would explain why we kerploded almost immediately. Yeah. Um, now, um, overall, uh, we find Reign of Cthulhu to be almost most effective as kind of an introductory pandemic. In general, the game is actually a little bit easier than Vanilla Pandemic, we've found, because the traveling is quite a bit simpler. Well, and there's only four Evil Stirs card total, whereas you can have an option mm -hmm. of five mm -hmm. or... Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, back I've to you. I've literally been speaking for about 40 seconds. Yep. Thank you. Yep, yep. Back to you. Anyway, um, so uh, the, the travel is quite a bit simplified. There's just far fewer spaces on the board and you have the same basic movement capability you do in Pandemic, which makes it quite a bit easier to get wherever it is you need to be, which is, you know, pretty much the key to a game like Pandemic, being where you need to be so that you can do that thing that you need to do. Um, the relics are also, I mean, they're pretty cool, but you know, they also make things a little bit easier too. You know, you've got you, you've got these crazy superpowers essentially going on, and you know, so I mean, it's not like embarrassingly easy, but it's not gonna challenge advanced pandemic players. The very first game out of the box we played, we destroyed it. I mean, just took the game apart in a handful of rounds. We're just like, hmm. You know, because we've played Pandemic, we've played Legacy, we've, you know, gone through tons and tons of Pandemic in our time. So, I mean, it was literally the first gamer game we owned. So, uh, you know, if you're an experienced Pandemic player, don't expect a huge challenge, but it is quite interesting. It's got, you know, great little thematic touches to it. The art is definitely very satisfying, though the cards could have been spruced up a little bit. They kind of almost feel Ticket to Ride style, just a big colored loop. They actually uh, remind me of the card backs in, um, the, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> that was exciting. No, gonna um, yeah, but I mean, the old ones look really cool. You know, they're very different, very, you know, ominous in their own way, certainly. The sanity mechanic that you didn't really get to see a lot happen with is quite interesting um, in that, you know, you don't die, but you can definitely get penalized as time goes on. Um, you know, and so, I mean, the price point's like, geez, it's like 30 bucks or something, so it's a pretty good deal for the money. Um, but really, like I said, it's more something to look into if you want, you know, kind of more of an introductory pandemic. Um, you know, especially if you don't want to discourage people with horrible epidemic kerplosions like you can run into in regular pandemic. Because this doesn't tend to get away from you quite as badly as regular pandemic can, where stuff just the wrong card at the wrong time and you're just <laughs> good night. Um, you know, the main issue we had with immediate death was just starting with way too many of the limited cultists on the board. Um, yeah, I killed us all. Pretty much, yeah. So, um, you know, hopefully you did still manage to get something useful out of the gameplay. You know, other than the sanity mechanic, you got to see pretty much what goes on. Um, you know, like I said, the relics are nifty. You can use them outside of your own turn, and they don't take an action. And They're, they're pretty interesting to play with. Um, and it's reasonably easy to teach, so that's always a plus. So, you know, overall, I'll give this one pretty much a neutral rating. It's nothing that we necessarily feel compelled to own now that we've played it, but, you know, we don't hate it and want to get rid of it immediately, if not sooner either. So, you know, uh, to each his own. I recommend just, you know, making your own judgment based on the gameplay you saw. And we will uh, see you next time. So, till then, get off your computer and go play some more games.